let me go and see how, whether we can see more about this virtue by looking at the question of hope that comes uh, uh, immediately after with the examination by St. James. I begin to tell you here just a little uh, story that, uh, oh, it's not an unusual story, but as you probably know, uh, the Greeks never thought of hope as a virtue. Um, uh, the, the, uh, there's a reference to hope in, uh, uh, as being one of Pandora's, being all one of the, um, the, the, uh, the entities available in Pandora's box. You know about Pandora's box, which was opened, and all the evils of the world came out of Pandora's box, save for one, hope. It's a statement, it's a view that, always, that really casts hope as clearly some kind of evil or a delusion. And in fact, for the Greeks, the idea of hope is always a, a, a term that implies the delusion of exiles. It's really what befalls an exile, someone who loses one's, one's, one's land, and what is left for him to do? Nothing but hope. It's the radical illusion. It's a kind of hope against hope. I, I have nothing more to do. It's a self-deception. That's really what it is. Dante does not follow that route for hope. And in effect, I think that he finds in the Bible the idea that, or, or, or a kind of a new, a different horizon, a, a kind for the, the rethinking uh, the way in which hope uh, uh, can be viewed. Hope, first of all, is literally a virtue of time. More so, faith, uh, it is with the language of a clock, you must have noticed uh, in Canto 24, introducing uh, uh, the world of hope. I, I, I did not want to uh, talk about it because I know that I'll be talking about it now. Hope is as much a faith, a virtue of time. Uh, because it's a virtue not only of time, it's a virtue specifically of the future. It tells me whenever, if I have hope, I can't really hope about the past. It would be, it would fly. Uh, in, uh, against all sense, against all logic. I hope yesterday it didn't rain. Doesn't make sense, does it? I mean, it's, but I can hope that tomorrow won't snow. I can, I can have that hope, which would be a silly hope, but it's a hope nonetheless, because it's a virtue of time in the future. It's a way of experiencing time in the future. That's one thing that Dante is doing. Uh, linking, therefore, hope and temporality. But it's not only, only virtue of time, it's the most realistic of virtues. Because normally we think, and the Greeks would sort of give us a cause to pause, that if you really hope, it's because you are really desperate. You, know, it's, you, you hope because they have no rational uh, reason, no realistic reason to believe that things are going to go the way you wish they went for you. So you go on hoping. Dante says, no, hope is the most realistic of virtues because it tells me that nothing is really ever over. That's what makes it realistic. The, the negation of hope, the opposite of hope would be despair. That you, Dante, you remember, is the scene for Dante, is the scene that we find uh, in Canto, we never read it, and now, retrospectively, I can tell you that you should go and read it, Canto 8 of, of Inferno. And even in Canto 9, the encounter with the Medusa is a, that fear of despair, that idea of being petrified. Uh, the Medusa can turn you into a stone. That is to say that you are imprisoned and you remain caught either in your standpoint or in that particular reality that you have, or the idea of yourself as, as, as you like to, as you think you have been, in the idea of the past. Dante says, no, hope is a virtue of the future. It's a virtue that can even change the past. In that sense, it's effective on the past, though it's determined, because it tells us that the past may not be what we thought it was. You know, whatever disaster you may have had, whatever disappointment you may have had in the past, that disappointment may contain seeds that really will reappear in the future and maybe are preparing a future that will surprise you. So this is 
a, a, a different understanding of time that Dante uh, presents. It's an understanding of time that once again Dante uh, uh, links with two moments of his, which is, uh, in this sense, it's really not different from faith. It fulfills faith. It unveils the element of faith. You cannot really go on hoping about something like that unless you have some, an act of faith. Uh, um, and, 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 and Dante goes on explaining it in existential terms and, and tying it to his own hope of returning to his homeland, his own native city, and the larger pattern of exile. I want to examine that with you.